How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> okay, we've got a battle happening soon. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come. Okay, then. Hi. Aw, oh, come on! On guard. I ain't doing crap. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Yeah, well, watch me. It ain't that hard. See? It, I win. <laughs> Can I talk to you about anything? You tell him that her attacks are too easy. The bullets get... Uh-oh. Not bad. And how about this? That wasn't faster. That was the same speed. <laughs> For years, we've dreamed of a happy end. Feels like the same speed of the here. Faster. Bullets get fa and now sunlight is just within our reach. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Kinda. I won't let you snatch it away. Yeah, that's better. That's that's more. That's a bit more of a challenge. Yeah, enough warming up. <laughs> okay, that was my bad. <laughs> Let's go. I'm out of here, punk. You won't get away from me this time. Just watch me. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. And they're slow as hell again. Hey! The bullets get faster. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Ow! Still not fast enough. There we go. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Ah, okay, that was my fault. Nah, challenge is good enough. Let's uh, eat one of the astronaut foods. Yeah, when I cut last time, I didn't have any of them that I used. So stop being so damn resilient. I'm good at this. Totally don't suck at all. I'm gonna go now. I notice it takes her a bit longer when you do zigzags. You've escaped from me for the last time. Yeah, good luck convincing me of that. Alfie's told me humans were determined. Ah, slow again! You almost got me on that one. This one was like popping out. I'm like, ugh. Faster. I see now what she meant by that. What, do we like speed? Okay, that wasn't too bad. But I'm determined to. Ah, that was one of the easier ones, too. What is wrong with me? Determined to end this right now. Okay. Again, those aren't hard. I'm just an idiot. Right now! Ah, oh, for the love of Pete, I suck. Right now! Getting tired there, Undyne? Ow. Ow. Dying, come on! Ugh. Die already, you little brat! That was rude. What did I ever do to you? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Alright, we're getting out. We're getting out. Bye. 
Bye. Who the hell is calling me right now? Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of... Uh, Tyrus! Hey, what's up? I was just thinking... You, me, and I'm dying should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Uh... Speaking of Undyne, Undyne, you want to say hi? It's Papyrus over the phone. Say hello. Stop running away! Oh, yes, because that's going to totally make me not run away. Yeah, totally. Let's both take a moment just to go look at Zen and go, Really, dude? <laughs> Alright, Undyne, come on. Armor, so... Hot, but I can't give up. <sighs> yeah. Take water. I'm betting the first time anybody played this, they just bailed and they come back. They're like, "Ah, oh, crap." <laughs> yes, give them dying the water. Hi, Undyne. Hey, I thought you were kind of making fun of the goody two stew stick. Well? No? Well, we're going to do more of that goody two stew stick in just a moment. Hello. Cool. Find the room, man. Where am I, the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Sure. You sound a lot like, uh, Onion Son from earlier. Where will we go today? Waterfall. Then we're all. Alright, which of the random dialogues are you gonna give me this time? Trollo, remember to take a break every so often. I know, that's why this episode's gonna be only like 16 minutes long. That and the last episode was longer than it was supposed to be. <sighs> Move the camera a little bit. Come again sometime. Troll! This way? You're still here. And... Up a meow. Hey, hey, Papyrus. You ready to see me give Undyne the goody tutu? Tu 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 the goody tutu. Don't you know? It's a, it's a tiny little tutu. There's little candies on the bottom. I don't know who designed this thing, but it looks really good. <laughs> you want to try it on? I was going to give it to Undyne, but you, you want to try the goody tutu? <laughs> oh, ho, the human arise. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. A bone. She's a fish undone. Unless she's based off a shark, that's not going to be true. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Should I go? <laughs> You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. Hi. I don't think we... You were going to say met, and yes, I disagree. That good thing you stopped. You want to try this goodie too, too? It's, it's pretty good. I'm sorry if you candies around the bottom are missing. I was just kind of hungry, okay? You just try it on. I'm sure it'll look good on you, even though you're kind of a uh, tomboy, basically. Why don't you two come in? Alright, okay. Let's go. Yeah, Nine. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Oh, jeez. Uh, Papyrus, don't you get the hint that she probably doesn't like them? So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. It shouldn't be something that you just have to remember. You should know this. You two have fun. Uh, that's not where the... 
That was a window, Papyrus. So why are you here? I was invited. By Papyrus, which is probably kind of bad on my end, but still... To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. As much as I want to say yes, no. <laughs> then why are you here? Papyrus invited me. I just said this. Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah, sure, why not? I've, most of the female friends that I've ever had in my life are either tomboys, are either tomboys, by goth, or all the above. Really? How delightful! I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. That's going a bit too far. <laughs> Not. Okay, good. <laughs> Why would I ever be friends with you? Like, ugh, look at that smug face and that candy tutu you have there. Um, excuse me, it's called a, it's not called a candy tutu. It, I mean, I guess it might as well be, but it's a, it's a sweet tutu, okay? <laughs> you're, you're the one who said the sweet part. I would just call it a sweet tutu, but it's not a candy tutu, it's a sweet tutu. See, this is sweet and sour sauce. It's more sweet than candy. Yeah, I don't know why they added this on the sides. It's just weird. <laughs> if you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I already have someone else I'm giving this voice to. Why do I have to give it to you, too? <laughs> I will never be friends with you. Now get out of my house. Alright, 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 alright. I overstayed the welcome finally. Okay, hi, Papyrus. Dang, what a shame. And for those who don't know... If you don't know this by now, then what the hell? But... I thought a nine could be friends with you. Yeah, Papyrus, go use the bathroom. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Yeah. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. That ain't true. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. Sit down and progress? Yeah, sure! Comfortable. I'll get you something to drink. Um. All set. What would you like? I wish there was just like dialogue right here, but if there was, it would ruin this next bit. <coughs> okay! Hey, don't get up! Well, if you haven't noticed, Undyne, I'm still kind of in a chair. <laughs> yes, I lifted the chair and kept my butt on the seat while doing that. Shut up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? That would have been the ideal thing in the first place. You can use that spear. Baby, I want you. Now I sound like a different character I'm going to act out. Okay. Are you hitting on me? Nope. Nope. No, I'm not. Nope. That was just a joke. I want that sword. Believe me, I would gladly give you a taste of your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. 
the fridge. You want to be have the entire fridge? It's someplace I could put my candy too, too. But dang it! Now you're getting me to say it. No, my sweet too, too. No. Ah! The chocolate inside is just gonna get cold. <laughs> Did I really just say that? If I don't put the chocolate in the fridge, the chocolate's gonna get cold. <laughs> no! Oops. I know. Oh, for the love of no! Stop it! Um. I want some sugar. I'm totally not hyped up enough. Plus, I need to dump it all over this thing. The sugar's for the tea. Oh. Oh, so it's... So it's not... It's unsaturated then, I'm assuming. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. But it'll make the medicine go down. <laughs> no, that's a spoonful of sugar. Never mind. It'll make the medicine vanish entirely. It won't make it go down. It'll vanish entirely. <laughs> what do I look like, the ice cream woman? Yeah, actually. The human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy. Have you read the Captain Underpants series? For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I used to read that as a kid. I'm pretty dang sure in one of the books that was what happened. Or something similar enough, at least. No. It was the lunch ladies. Never mind. Are that ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Hell, I play prelude to this pre 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 fudge! I'd play that song while freaking reading that particular book. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what? Really? That's awesome! I was gonna say that, but you know what? That rules works too. <laughs> I want some soda, actually. I mean, I've got some here, but it, it's not carbonated anymore! I might have just made it carbonated again. Hold on. Well, the carbonation is still there, but I'm pretty sure it's flat. Yeah, it's flat. Ugh. I'm gonna throw you away after this video. <laughs> Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. That was not intentional! <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross too. No, I don't look happy because this soda is gross because it's not carbonated anymore. It's flat. It rots your teeth. No. It rots your mind. No. Look at my pretty like teeth. I mean they're a little bit not, but you know, no teeth no tooth is perfect. It's bone. But it does not rot your mind. I am one of the smartest peoples on this planetizer. That made sense. <laughs> totally wasn't intentional at all. It rots your fighting spirit. Fight me, bitch! <laughs> huh? Why do I have it? Yeah, exactly. You shut up! We could dump it all over my freaking sweet, uh... To, to, I almost forgot the name of it. We could probably add a little sweet tank top to it as well. <laughs> I'm actually kind of cold. Can I have this? Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's there. Ah! Why would you put it there if it's empty? I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Literally, all you have to do is heat up water, dump the stuff in, mix it, and you're good. I mean, it tastes a lot better with milk, honestly, in my opinion. That's me personally, though. Water in the mix still suffices. Like, I won't complain if it's that. I just do think that milk makes it taste better. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Ha! <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, fine. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Well, I'm bored now. <laughs> there, the water's boiled. Okay, it's all done. Well, remember how I said the episode was supposed to be shorter? 
That ain't happening. Here we are. Careful. It's hot. It's not that hot. Just drank it already. Alright, gosh. It's burning. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? I just said this! Nothing but the best for my absolute precious friend. You're like that stereotype teenage girl who's just so sassy all the time. Like the cheerleader. By the way, I know this stereotype isn't entirely true. In high school, I knew a lot of cheerleaders who were sweethearts. I'm gonna say that. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. That was the only tea up there, hon. Come on. <laughs> Cut me some slack, would you? Golden flower tea. I mean, I wanted it to match my little tutu here. My sweet tutu needed some golden flowers on the top, otherwise it's just brimming to the edge with nothing. I would have been able to see your top end, and I wouldn't have been good at all. You know, if you ever wear this thing. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. How? In any way am I like Asgore? You're both total weenies. Sort of. Serious conversation time. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to beat up Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me. You know what? I'm going to do it in the voice I give Asgore. Excuse me. Do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to trade dorks to fight. <laughs> like, uh, Papyrus. If Papyrus isn't listening to this at this point, that's just weird. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if... I can never let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. I hope he's not listening to this one, actually. Don't tell him I said that. Papyrus is just, like, right next to the window that you guys saw earlier crying because of this. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. I see the reasoning behind that. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Oh. Oh. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> afraid? No. I mean, I might be afraid to burn this thing, but otherwise, no. We're gonna be best friends. I mean, my girlfriend is a frickin'... Well, I can't say what... Uh? I want to say she's a tomboy. I know she's goth. I can say that much. But 
Other than that, I guess I guess I could consider her a tom. She's bi. She's bi and she's goth. I think I could. I, I would consider her a tomboy to a degree. Not full on tomboy, but at least to a degree. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Ah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll humor you. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are united against these healthy ingredients. Uh, what? Now it's my turn. Yeah! Oh, well, 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 well now it's sauce. <laughs> Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... That makes sense! We had the noodles. Homemade noodles. I Hold on, let me, let me go put my tutu on the table, that way it doesn't burn. I swear, this whole thing, if the tutu's gone by the end of this, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. There. Tutu, actually, I placed it outside just in case. But I just buy store brand. Well, it's official. This is going to be another extended episode. Next one's going to have to be like 15 minutes long. They're the cheapest. <laughs> okay, I get it. Uh, just put them into the pot. Again, I'll humor you. You throw everything in... Uh, this is not in dine talk. It clanks against the empty bottle. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Well, with pasta, I can actually agree with that, because the more you stir it, the more likely it's not to stick together. Because when you put pasta... I've noticed when you put pasta into a pot of hot water and you don't mix it, it sticks! I'm not talking about the pot. They actually... Do the noodles sometimes do stick together. But maybe that's just my luck, I don't know. Ready? Let's do it! <laughs> harder! Well, I can't stir any harder. Ugh, let me do it. Well, um, that's not stirring, that's pounding. <laughs> that's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove stop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. All right, well, you're you're telling me to not hold anything back. I'm just going to hold down the button. Hotter. Hotter, darn it. Um, I'm dying. Hotter! Wait, that's two. Uh-oh. Well. Ah, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> I highly... No, that's not the reason I'm dying. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? <sighs> oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? No. I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. You're lucky my tutu's outside, otherwise I would beat the crap out of you. I mean, it's totally not my tutu, it's hers! I just borrowed it! It's the Shri Tutu, remember? Now come on, hit me with all you got! Yeah! Alright. Boop. Bitch! <laughs> I, I think, I, I don't know how Frisk would do that, or Kara. You know, whichever name you want to use. But I don't know how they, I, I don't know how I do that. Is it like, and then just at the very last second stop to just like. Just probably do that. Fist bump! Ugh. Oh, you didn't fist bump me. 
<laughs> Something like that. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <sighs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid chatterite stick. Ah! What am I supposed to do with the tutu then? The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I can. I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. <laughs> just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down. Oh, don't remind me. I know, don't remind me. I don't like that roof. I'll take their soul instead. Yeah, probably like 10 to 20 times. That makes sense, right? Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it does. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Alright, okay, alright, alright, fine. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk! Uh, okay, bye. Well... I guess there goes my candy. Dad, damn it! I'm dying. You gave me a say candy instead of sweet. Ah! I'm gonna leave this video here. I'll meet you guys back over in Hotland where this video, s well, where that last save point we saw was. In the meantime, though, thank you guys so much for watching another one of these extended episodes of Undertale. If you liked it, push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. I need to go blow my nose or something. Jeez. Ugh. Ugh. Um, Want to check out any other RPGs that I've done prior? JRPGs or RPGs, one or the other. So basically any other role-playing game that I've done prior to this one. All the links one across my head here. This particular game will be in the top right-hand corner if you missed anything up to this point. That From what I've done so far. However, next time we're going to have a much shorter episode. It'll probably be like 15 minutes, just as a heads up. Anyway, in the meantime, this nostalgia train is off to its next stop, but we'll catch you guys in the next ride. Bye!